so. Rather than me show you how to take the wheel off, step one, raise vehicle. Step two, safely support it on some jack stands if that's what you're doing. Step three, well, never mind, enough of the stepping. I'm going to have to step back because uh, uh, the main complaint about this one here is uh, the warp rotors. So we're going to need an Allen wrench. We're going to need a 3 8 ratchet. We're going to need a 14 millimeter socket. And on these little units here, because it's a Chrysler product, we're going to have to have an E20 socket to get the saddle off of here. So, Chrysler deemed that a better idea than a hex head. It would be stupid to put a hex head on something. Uh, well, brake service on this is actually uh, has been done before. So I invite you, since I just now realized it, I invite you to look at the brake hose. So what we have here, <laughs> just kidding, but uh, what somebody did there is they wrapped the brakes up. They wrapped it around this way when they put it on, it twisted all the the brake hoses so whatever shop that uh, did that I don't know I don't know what to say I'm not I'm gonna be nice about it I'm gonna say uh, you need to start paying better attention what uh, what you're doing with your brakes these are wrapped up uh, show you real quick I guess I could I suppose I don't know I had a hell of a time with the well these don't have lug nuts it has lug studs I had a hell of a time with uh, with those things they're green what I missed or does the wrench not fit I guess it's all a possibility did I miss again 17 mil appears if the wrench goes on no nope, wrench does not go on so Back to the drawing board. A lot of people use uh, the flat areas on the calipers themselves, so this right there doesn't happen. But that's neither here nor there. I'll pull that bottom out. Well, I'm gonna have to pull both of them out since I wanted to. I said I was gonna show you. So well, that one there appears twisted. Maybe it's not. But it appears twisted anyway. I guess I gotta put my money where my mouth is and actually try that out. So let's see. We roll it once, and we roll this back in place, and there you go. Get my body out of the way. So. That's the way that should have been done. Like I said, it was wrapped an entire turn. I knew it was. Had a good feeling. Uh, we're going to replace the brake pads on here. Although the brake pads are not actually that bad. We've, uh, the lady already got new ones. So we're going to go ahead and put them on. Like I said, the complaint is actually the warp rotors. Looking at that, really, in all honesty, it doesn't look like they cleaned anything. They may have, I, I don't know. I can't say, I can't say that they didn't. It's hard to, hard to see that part. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can show you this. Before I even pull the rotor off, right there, that uh, what that's basically showing you, that rotor here is a uh, is a goner. So 
Never mind, I'm not going to get the rotors cut. We'll just go and replace them. Throw some new ones on there. Once again, I'm manually doing this. Give you guys a little bit better idea of what you're getting into. So, one little side note. When these brakes here were done, uh, they didn't clean, uh, clean uh, nothing. And you probably go now, uh, why are you making such a statement? Well, I can guarantee you that almost nobody puts Loctite on these bolts when they come out. These here, I am guessing, yes I did say, I am guessing. They haven't been out because they're dragging on the way out and they're not bad. I'm assuming that to be the original manufacturer's Loctite and looking at all of this on the back side, of course you can't see that yet. Uh, that makes perfect sense. Well, I know there's a lot of Sherlock Holmes thing going on here. Uh, with other words, uh, these didn't get turned or anything like that. They just did a, a brake pad replacement. Like I said, the reason I say that is right there it is. The original factory Loctite was still in the hole. And that is why it was tight all the way coming out. And this is also a, uh, a type of Loctite that the uh, manufacturer uses. It's dried onto the fastener before... Uh, before they stick it on there, these bolts are already have that on there and it'd be partially dried on it. It actuates whenever you screw it, screw it into something. I ain't gonna go into detail on that. I'm sure there's something gonna spout it on it. I do, I should have used impact, but that's okay. Like I said, give you a better idea how long this takes. I don't know that I've got uh, this year model Cherokee on the channel, so I decided to go ahead and add yet another brake video. Uh, same thing with that, on that pink right there that tells you it was factory. I'm going to yank the hardware off, clean that. As always, make sure that these pins get a little bit re-lubricated. They're stuck pretty bad. Eh, they're freed up. The, anybody interested? That flute film that I always use, I spray that in there. Uh, that flute film, for whatever reason, it tends to loosen the grease that, uh, the copper grease that they use on the slide pins. It tends to loosen it up like really, really nicely, make it work real good. So, let me try that. Let me pull this off real quick. Check out the rotor. I want to show you that rotor. Five mil, at least I think that's what it is. Well, this is an island. And no, don't panic. These things should not be that stuck. If they are, hit it with a punch. the old beater. Give it a little bit of a wiggle treatment. Get some rust out of it. So, 
let us see what else is on here. Yep, they replaced it for sure. This has not been off of there. That right there, it's rusted pretty solid. Of course, uh, you can't just wail around on it and just keep wailing on it. That's not a good idea. Uh, I didn't actually, I know that video is really nothing, nothing to show it. I didn't hit it that hard. Just to, to add that in there. I'm always a little bit leery hitting a hub like that because that can warp it as well. So, have a hub cleaned up. Looks pretty good. As usual, wall blast it. Blast the hooey out of it. Camera's going off, and we shall source us some rotors. Uh, really, no, I haven't done that yet. I'm sure they got those, so we'll find out. I've got four chances to get them. Well, ya dummy, you didn't show the people. So, I don't know how good the camera is going to pick that up, but huge lip right here. That's what you were seeing in the pad. Uh, that rotor, I'm not going to cut. Uh, it'll be too thin. It'll come right back with another warp, so I'm not going to cut that. And besides that, it'll be on the edge what is legal anyhow. So, a little bit more info on the discard thickness of the rotor. It's 1.039 inches. I am at 1.058 inches. So, this thing is, these things are warped, uh, they got grooves in them, we be under, so can't cut it, can't cut it anyway, I already, like I already made that call, I didn't want uh, people to think I'm just going to waste another person's money, that's not what I do. So, through the magic of the internet and technology, I've done source of some premium routers. Nah, just kidding. Uh, these routers here, a little bit on the pricey side. Actually, they came from these here came from O'Reilly. Uh, really, in all honesty, all about the same garbage that you're going to get these days anyway. Uh, probably all come from the same place. So, reverse procedure, of course. I'll go ahead and uh, bolt that rotor back up. And put a bolt back in it. Uh, of course, uh, back side of the rotor, I sprayed the crap out of it. So, I put the uh, you see me put the fluid film on the hub already, put the fluid film on the uh, on the rotor. So I think at this point in time, uh, let's see. What do we got missing? I uh, 
don't really want to create too long of a video especially on the brakes like I said I'm gonna well like I said earlier I found that uh, on these pins we'll remove the pins I found that the uh, fluid film give it a little blast of fluid film it loosens up the existing grease uh, these ones here slide actually very nicely make sure that the seal goes back up on the ridge and these are nice and free it loosens it up like super nicely we'll do the uh, bottom one here we'll do that as well. well go ahead and do that these are not rusted or anything like that put the seal back in So, again, nice and free. I want to do that in, the, in front of the camera. Uh, hardware, as usual, take the hardware off, clean it up, uh, use a uh, brake caliper grease or whatever or not have you. Uh, any kind of protective film like that, put it underneath and uh, put pads on it and rock and roll. Uh, it, like I said, this is redundant at this point in time. I mean, this part of it, everybody can figure out. I don't know that I want to leave the. I'm gonna leave the. Uh, I'm gonna leave the camera on for a little while longer, uh, but I'm not gonna film the whole entire thing. Okay, so I do get sidetracked a lot. Sorry about that. I had customers calling me and got to talk to them and blah 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 blah. Anyway, I don't know. I really don't know what it is about this part of the country. Uh, there's rust buildup underneath the hardware, of course. Uh, cleaned all that up. Went ahead and put the hardware back on. Of course, put the lubrication underneath it. Uh, if I said it once, I've said it a million times. You know, go ahead and, and lubricate all of that good stuff. So there's not going to be a problem. We'll stick our bolts back in here. Of course, we uh, put some lubrication on the face of the calipers as well they, they these are phenolic pistons actually so uh, nothing really should go wrong with that but this thing here is basically ready for assembly uh, customer did supply the the brake pads and uh, would you know it they happen to be the wrong ones so we're gonna have to go source some brake pads uh, can't lily around too much uh, but anyway all of this is ready to go uh, you've seen the problems already. You know, we've had issues with uh, uh, hardware was rusted underneath where nobody put lubrication on it. We had a twisted hose. Uh, we see the stuff all the time. It, it, it just is what it is. You know, people do break jobs and, and unfortunately, uh, I'm sure they charge pretty good for it too. So, it is what it is. I'm going to end the video here. Again, thanks for all the support. Like, subscribe. You know, feedback, whatever you think, let me know. Uh, that's about it for this video. You know, final assembly, of course. Put your brake pads on, put the caliper back on, torque everything up. Good to go. So, I'm going to end it right here, guys. Thanks for watching.